it's not necessarily age, but it's how we age depends on a lot of our lifestyle habits, how we've taken care of ourselves throughout our years. That has a huge, huge impact on how we age. You're listening to the Redefining Wealth Podcast with Patrice Washington. I'm so excited to welcome you back to this space where we have come to understand what it means to chase purpose, not money. See, here at Redefining Wealth, we believe in more than just money and material possessions. We know that the definition of wealth goes so much deeper than that. And we subscribe to the original 12th century definition, which says it's about the condition of well-being. So today, I'm excited to tap into what it means to be well in our physical bodies. And I'm so excited that I get to introduce you to someone that I respect and I admire and someone who works with me personally. Uh, It's my chiropractor. (laughs) And you're going to hear how um, my chiropractic health has helped revolutionize my overall health. And do not check out, do not tune out, do not get all super deep about, oh, that's not for me. I didn't know it was for me either, and it has been a game changer. Now, before we get into the episode, I want to start with this week's affirmation. You know, you got to speak positivity into your life, into your day. You got to affirm positivity. You got to affirm abundance. You got to affirm yourself to wealth. This week's affirmation is, I am in alignment mentally, spiritually, and physically. I understand that building wealth requires me to be well in areas of my life beyond my career aspirations. To truly be wealthy, I want every part of my life to be in agreement and in alliance with the vision that I have for myself. To do this, I must consider every part of my being. I will no longer neglect my physical health to chase wealth that's made up of only money and material possessions. I know that without my mental, spiritual, and physical well-being, everything else will be built on a fake, false, and flimsy foundation. So commit with me. I'm in alignment mentally, spiritually, and physically. Welcome to the Redefining Wealth Podcast, Dr. Lisa. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Man, we have been talking about this for a while now. So I have to take a step back and let the audience know how I met you, why I was introduced to you. So let me first say, uh, you know, we've had on this podcast before episode called Listen to Your Body. And I know for me, I was guilty of, you know, having little pain, little feelings, little something that just didn't feel right, but I would ignore it for longer than I'm, um, you know, that I want to admit, I would ignore it. I would keep going and just like push through, you know, I had the push through mentality. And I did that in 2019 before I moved back to Atlanta, I got injured at uh, the gym, as you know, and I was like, oh, my shoulder, it'll be okay. Let me just push through. Well, I pushed through. I packed up a home. I moved cross country. I was on the road for, you know, weeks at a time, just going from place to place, thing to thing. And my shoulder just got worse and worse. And it wasn't until the pandemic where I started going to, well, before I started going to my new gym, I ended up going to urgent care and they put me in a sling. Mm -hmm because I couldn't lift my arm. It was even painful to sleep. Right. And I'm in this sling and I can't move my arm after a while, like at all, like I lose all strength in my shoulder. I'm saying arm, but I mean, shoulder, like I lose all strength in my shoulder where I can't even pick up a five pound weight. And I was doing twenties at that time. And I end up finding this new gym and I'm in there one day talking about my shoulder. <laughs> I and, remember that day. And, and Kat says, Oh, you need to meet Dr. Lisa and you just happened to be there. I had never seen you at a class before. And oh my gosh, that was one 
of the best days for me in like the last year or so, because that was like the beginning of the path to me actually getting some relief finally. Um, And so first of all, thank you, because before you, I had heard of chiropractic care and I think I only thought about it for people who had been in like a car accident and really hurt their backs. And I only heard older people kind of talk about it very rarely. Um, Didn't know any black people that talked about (laughs) it, quite honestly. Uh, So I had no idea what I was stepping into and you've been so kind. I wasn't going to like let this interview go without saying thank you, thank you, thank you, because you are changing our lives. So why don't more people just know about chiropractic care? And can you break down exactly what it is and why you do what you do? Well, first of all, I'm so grateful to that. What day was that? That was, that was about like a year and a half ago that we crossed paths during that, that workout class. Um, so it's been quite the journey and I want to applaud you as well for taking that ownership of being like, man, I know what I, you know, I know what my issues were and now you're empowered to make your own decisions to live a healthier life. Um, so to answer your question, you know, that is a very, very common misconception, misperception of what chiropractic is. Um, I think, you know, the old school way of thinking about health in general is that you need to be hurt in order for us to do something. So we live in a very, um, reactive mindset, um, just like with anything else. And unfortunately, for example, people, um, you know, you and I know that there's a lot of people out there that are walking around with cancer and yet they feel amazing. So there's this model that a lot of us have, you know, um, have grown up being comfortable with that you have to have something wrong with you and that you have to be in excruciating pain or have like these major injuries or conditions in order for you to seek care. Um, And in the grand scheme of things, you know, that's what a lot of people thought about chiropractic is as well, is that you have to have a big, big problem where you have to have, like you said, um, maybe like a car accident or be old. And the thing is that I'm, what I'm seeing a lot more of right now, even so even just using the, um, example of age is that it's not necessarily age, but it's how we age depends on a lot of our lifestyle habits, how we've taken care of ourselves throughout our years that has a huge, huge impact on how we age. Um, So honestly, the way that I see things um, and how I treat, uh, you know, people that come into my office is, um, yes, we are being reactive when it comes to people coming into pain uh, with pain or certain ailments and injuries, but then also taking the time to educate them why that it, it is, you know, the way that they are, um, you know, the conditions that bring them in, what got them there, but also how to live more, more proactively. So not only do I focus on getting people well, um, but hopefully to stay well. And so that they can live the rest of their lives much happier with higher quality, um, and just a very fulfilling rest of their life. I hope I answered that question. I know I kind of (laughs) went all over with that one. I love that you said it's not how old we are. It's how we age. Yes. That is so profound to me. (laughs) Like, honestly, because, you know, you hear all the like, well, and I'm guilty of it. Like, well, I'm 40 now, (laughs) right? Well, I'm, I'm turning this age. I'm turning this corner. I'm into a new decade. So then we normalize not feeling well. Yes. And that doesn't have to be the case. No, it doesn't. And it's actually funny that you mentioned this because what I am actually seeing, and I believe we even did it with you and your daughter, where we actually compared where she is in her health right now. Um, And, you know, everything that, as you know, that we do in our office is all very scientifically and data driven. Um, So we do take x-rays, we do do a whole analysis before we even say, yes, you need chiropractic. Um, but what we've done with you and Reagan, we compared your results 
And, you know, obviously she's younger and she still has these things going on, um, even though she's feeling great. Mm -hmm. Um, And another thing is that, you know, a lot of us have been trained to just push through it. So I'm going back to your example, like we've been coached through our, through our coaches, um, our teachers, even our parents, unfortunately, that we just got to push through it. And yes, that does um, help us, you know, get mentally stronger in some aspects, but when it comes to our health, our bodies tell us so many different, gives us so many different signs when something's not going right um, before that pain even you know, those pain signals actually fire and let you know that there's something going on. So in other words, you can have a lot of dysfunction, um, going on within your body before your body's like picking up on that and screaming at you. And usually by the time you were in so much pain, that's when the body is screaming at you. Um, anyways, and I, I think it's amazing, um, that right now, you know, a lot, of the younger population is becoming a lot more empowered, a lot more knowledgeable about what health is, um, so that they can live a more proactive, you know, um, way versus reactive. Yeah. We've talked about that in the office before that, you know, the generations that came before us didn't always have the luxury of healing, right? Because they didn't necessarily have the access to information. They couldn't just Google and look up pros and cons. They couldn't like (laughs) look for alternatives to whatever their doctor might say, or maybe they couldn't even really afford to always go to the doctor. Like there's so many reasons um, that I believe it was just not as accessible in the generations past, but I do believe that now we don't have an excuse to be ignorant. Like we don't have an excuse to turn a blind eye to what's going on. And, you know, here at Redefining Wealth, the fifth pillar is really the first pillar. We don't even get into money until we talk about mentally and physically fit. And yet knowing that I still fell into, well, I'm moving, I'm on the road, I have so much to do, I just don't have time. And I thought it would be a couple of weeks, Dr. Lisa, and it turned into months. And in those months, Like you said, there was a sign. I felt a little pinch and then I felt a little, "Mm, maybe I should ice it more. Maybe I should just leave it alone. I won't lift as heavy, but it just got progressively worse until by the time I met you, my shoulder was screaming at me. And, you know, because of what I learned from you, even though my shoulder is much better, like I'm back, like I'm back. (laughs) I'm like, (laughs) we've seen it get progressively stronger, right. Over the last several months, or, you know, it's been, it's been in a good place for some months now, but now I still come because to your point, it's not just about dealing with the pain and then going like, okay, I'm good. Let me move on. We, I learned so many other things about, you know, my (laughs) hips and my knees and my ankles and my legs. And like, There's so much more to it. So can you break down? There's something that you showed Reagan and I in your office that I really liked. It was just the chart of the spine and how, how like so many things are connected to the health of your spine. Can you just talk about that? Cause I don't think we are aware. Yes. So as you can see, there's a spine model behind me. Um, but I'm really really, really glad that you asked that question because that actually helps us to answer the first question you asked us or asked me as well is like, why do people not know about chiropractic right now? There's a lot more, um, more information, like you said. And with that, we actually get to go back to what chiropractic is really about. And it's really about making sure that your whole nervous system is functioning well. So it's not just about the misalignments, getting cracked, um, you know, all those things that may have what, you know, may have been what caused you to come in in the first place, but the spine, you're so there's so many things I want to go into that, but first and foremost, your body has the ability to truly heal itself under the right condition. So when there's a lot of dysfunction that's going on because of the misalignments, So that communication from the brain down your spinal cord to all those nerves that are controlling your whole internal system without even, without even thinking about it, 
Like that happens without us even having to work for it. But the thing is that over time, when we've hurt ourselves, when we've had things going on, trauma, lots of stress, that nervous system, which is that mother control in our body, that can react in such a way that it causes that dysfunction within your system. So as you can see here, all those nerves, they control your heart, your brain, your thyroid, even your gut, our reproductive system. So again, if there's some stress and tension within that system, it's not going to allow your body to function um, to its full capacity. If that, one, of, one of the it, things that you taught me too, and it's like, you know it, but you don't really think about it is even childbirth. Like oh, yeah. how much childbirth alone can kind of just throw your body off? Oh my goodness. Absolutely. And then even just from reproduct, just like think about reproductive health overall. Um, you and I have talked a lot about how women in general, um, we as a whole have been told that, you know, if you just have just you, if you're not meant to have kids and you just have to accept that, for example, or if you have painful periods and cycles and that's a normal thing. But the thing is that just because it's common, it doesn't mean that it's normal. So those are the things that are, those were the things that we, like we just talked about, those are the signs and signals that your body is kind of like ticking at you and being like, Hey, something needs to be done. There's some type of, type of, type of dysfunction going on within the system, whether it be um, a trauma related, and that can be micro and macro traumas that we put our bodies through every day. That can be um, even from thoughts. So even really, really stressful times in our lives, um, or even very traumatic things that happened to us in the past. And if we just didn't program our bodies to heal correctly from that, that can absolutely have a detrimental effect on how we're functioning and also toxins. So those are the three T's that we talk about overall. So thoughts, traumas, and toxins that really throw our bodies out of dysfunction. Um, and really it's, it's what chiropractic really, um, you know, especially here at this office, what we really entails is, is all of it. It's a lifestyle. You know, it's not just about coming to get adjusted. What I've even seen in you is that you've made a lot healthier choices in your life. And it's not just the eating right, exercising. It's also um, taking that time and thinking about what you need, even from a mental and spiritual standpoint, because guess what? It's all related. It's, it's your whole lifestyle. It is. It's definitely all related. Um, I love that the thoughts, traumas, and toxins, again, not things that we think about. Right. Mm -hmm. And you brought up getting cracked. So <laughs> I want to talk about that because that is definitely the connection that a lot of people make with chiropractic care. And I've heard people say, why do you need to go to a chiropractor? Like, my friend at, at work cracks my back in the lunchroom or I just lay on the ground and someone <laughs> walks on my back and I'm like, ah, do, well, do they are, do they know what they're doing? You just letting folks crack your back. Like, <laughs> you know, it's something that we hear all the time, believe it or not. And just going back to, you know, the fact that we don't know what we don't know. Um, and so with that being said, to answer your question, no, it's not very specific. <laughs> um, and what they're doing, um, can definitely, you know, impact what their, what the person's health is, the, whether it be a self-adjustment or self-manipulation, I would rather call it, um, or just having, you know, a friend, a neighbor, even a teammate, um, crack the back. It is, I'm going to let you know, it's, chiropractic has not, has, does not, not have to do with how loud or how much sound um, an adjustment makes. What an adjustment is, is actually relieving that tension on that nervous system. So for example, I see, we see babies here and they don't get cracked. They get, um, you know, their, their uh, adjustments don't even really make a sound. And all that sound is, is just gas that's being released from the stuck joints. Um, so there's a number of techniques that don't even require that cracking. Um, but sorry, I didn't mean to, to cut you off, but I do, I do get that quite a bit. 
Um, people think that, you know, what they can do or their friends can do outside of the office is the same that we do here. Um, and I'm here to tell you that that is absolutely so far from the truth. Um, and what we do here, you know, as you know, I don't even adjust people, um, unless I've done a, an analysis to even see if they need it. Um, and we do a very thorough analysis to even see where we need to adjust if chiropractic is even for them. Um, and then we allow that data and then even just the data from how, you know, how you're functioning, um, to tell me where I need to even adjust and how specifically I need to adjust. Dr. Lisa, when we get back <laughs> from this break, I'm going to tell you about how, um, I was self, uh, what did you call it? Self manipulating. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know. This is what happens when you bring your family to the chiropractor, <laughs> because then my family start going, wait a minute, what are you doing? I'm like, hold on. We'll be right back. When I started podcasting, I had nothing, no fancy equipment, no cover art, no theme music. I just had this burning desire that I was supposed to use my purpose of helping people redefine wealth in the podcasting space. And so with some intentional planning, I launched what became the Redefining Wealth podcast in just three weeks. That was four years ago. And today the Redefining Wealth podcast has over 9 million downloads. We've interviewed everyone from celebrities to entertainers to authors and thought leaders. We've been featured everywhere from Success Magazine to Cosmopolitan and even Good Morning America. Now, why do I share all that? Because I'm not special. The truth is this started with leaning into my purpose and being willing to use my voice in a powerful way. And I bet that there's something that's calling you as well, something that you need to use your voice to amplify in the marketplace. So I wanna help you do that. If you're finally ready to use your voice and launch a podcast that aligns with your purpose, I wanna invite you to check out my intentional online training, Podcast with Purpose. You can find out more details at podcastwithpatrice.com. That's podcastwithpatrice.com. Your purpose deserves to be amplified. And I want to help you do that. Dr. Lisa, before the break, I was sharing with you that I was guilty of self-manipulation. And let me tell you, I was doing it even after getting care. Now, you and I had not necessarily had that conversation. I don't think I had divulged that a part of my driving routine was to get in the car and turn both oh, yeah. ways and cre and just, you know, crack my back. I, and I don't even know that I realized it was probably not wise to do, but I'm so glad that Reagan came because after Reagan started coming to you, she saw me doing it. She was like, mom, what are you doing? Dr. Lisa says that you're not <laughs> supposed to do that. And I'm like, did she? Um, why, why shouldn't we? So first of all, Thank you, Reagan, for keeping your mom accountable. <laughs> um, so going back to answer your question, I know it may seem like it's harmless and that, you know, it's again, very similar to what we do at the office, but I'm going to bring it back to even just um, what the spine even does. So the spine is actually housing one of the most important aspects of our bodies. And that's again, that brain, the spinal cord, the, you know, the nerves that all come out of there and actually control your whole entire body. So you don't want to just willy nilly, you know, move some things without unknowingly, no, not knowing what you're moving. Um, and a lot of times when people are doing the self-adjusting, so like that twisting or even doing that neck thing, what they're actually doing is adding a lot more instability within their neck. So in other words, as you can see, the, the spine has all the different curves in, um, within, you know, the spinal cord. And oftentimes, you know, each, all, all those segments have their own um, specific way that they sit within the, you know, within your spine. And that, therefore, depending on how it's misaligned, it requires a very specific way that it needs to move back into place. Um, so those bones that most people are, those segments that people are moving on their own, they're just really adding a lot more instability in, in those areas that are already really, really easy to move. 
and then um, making the other segments a lot harder to move. Yeah. Um, and actually, I want to bring up, I don't mean to scare people into not doing it, but I've actually had a few patients um, even tell me that they've self-adjusted prior to coming to the office um, to a point that I actually had one in particular that caused himself to pass out. Um, wow. Yes. That's something I actually just recently had come into my office and, um, you know, it's not just about the segments themselves, but the, again, bringing it back to what the spine is doing, it's protecting that control system in your body that you're, again, your brain, your spinal cord, your nerves, I'm going to keep coming back to that because that's what controls our whole entire body. And that's actually what we focus on here is making sure that all of that continues to function and functions properly. Wow. Yeah. To the point of passing out. It's amazing too. You know, when I, when I thought about it, cause it's making me be more present and break the habit. So mm-hmm. I've definitely gotten a lot better and I do have accountability um, at <laughs> home, but I, I've gotten a lot better about it because I'm present, but I realized I was doing it not because it necessarily felt good or not because I felt good after it was just a habit that I picked mm. up from somewhere And I'm not sure if I saw someone else doing it, I was like, huh, but it's not that I would get in the car and all of a sudden feel some type of intense pressure (laughs) that I thought I needed to release. It was just habit. And I realized that it was just a bad habit. And so the thing is that, you know, I don't yell at people or anything for doing that, but again, just, you don't, but Reagan does. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Reagan, she's a special one. (laughs) But in all seriousness, we don't know, you know, we think a lot of these things are harmless and we build these habits um, thinking that they're harmless. But over time, if you don't really, you know, be present and stop and think to yourself, why am I self-adjusting? Why am I just popping my own spine Um, and evaluating, you know, like, is that even serving me well? Um, then you're just, you're just, you know, going through those habits again, over and over again. And we see that, um, in other aspects, even outside of chiropractic too, um, you know, when it comes to even eating habits and why people, um, you know, live the lifestyles that they live, you know, we live in this vicious cycle where I don't think we do a whole lot of being present, being, um, very self-aware and evaluating how we're doing in a mind, body, spirit aspect that has a huge impact in how we're, um, how happy or unhappy we are in our lives. Before we get into the benefits, I know it's all connected, but I do want to share too, that hips, oh my gosh, my hips, (laughs) my knees, like my ankles. Sometimes I come in and it's amazing to me what you can tell about what my life has been like just by touching like certain parts of my body or you'll say, Oh, that knee is off. And then I'll remember, Oh shoot. I did feel like my knee, you know, kind of was giving me trouble two or three days ago, but I didn't even think about it. And then I come into you and you're like, "Mm, what's going on with this right knee? I'm like this, what is going on here? I think it's, it's important for people to know. It's not just like, Oh, cracking your back, like all the, like your whole body, all of it matters. And you take care of everything. Oh, absolutely. I, and a hundred percent, it all matters. Um, the, the special thing about, um, us Patrice is that I've gotten to know you and what your patterns are within your own body, um, over time. And so I really adjust what the body is telling me to adjust based on how you're moving, how you're not moving some of the muscle testing that we do. Um, and just, you know, over time you start to see, um, how, what your normal is and what is abnormal. Um, and so that's, that's really just all it is. And, you know, I, I address of absolutely the, the spine aspect of everything, the nervous system, but it's all connected. So that's why we have talked about the other joints of the body, because I want you to function optimally. And again, that's still part of your body. You know, it's not like your shoulders um, and a a separate part of your system. Um, And if if, even if the hips are off, if the knees aren't functioning the way that they're supposed to, how can you run? How can you exercise? How can you even walk um, 
and move properly. And, you know, there's a very strong connection between how our, our nervous system and our brains are functioning and how our movements are as well. So that's the reason why we take a look at all of it. Absolutely. You're talking about movement and mobility. When I saw Reagan on the table and oh my goodness. I, listen, <laughs> when this episode comes out, yes. I'm going to post this video along with the promo or somewhere around when your episode comes out. I have a video of you, uh, you know, adjusting Reagan for the first time. And you did this test where you lifted one leg, the leg that, uh, you know, was giving her some trouble, I suppose, or she, maybe she didn't even realize how off it was. I don't think she did, but she lifted one leg and it was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then she lifted the other and it's like, oh, wow, that one is oh, yeah. really high. So something's definitely going on. And then after you did the adjustment, the way that it like completely unlocked and was able to move, she and I were both like, <gasps> like, you know, like, what just happened? And it literally took seconds, not minutes. Like it took seconds to shift. And I know you talk about muscle memory. So this is why we keep coming because it will just revert back. If you don't, it's not like a one-time thing. That's what I want people to realize too. In order to stay functioning well, it does kind of need to become a part of how you live your life because you've been probably walking around with some type of trauma or injury for 15 years. And you can't think one 15 minute session is going to be like the end all be all, you know, like, but I've, I see it in Reagan. It's one thing for me to be on the table. Yes. I feel it for myself, but I don't see myself. Right. Mm -hmm. When I saw what was happening with her, I was like, Oh my gosh, this is incredible. This girl can move. And yeah. she did win her basketball tournament, like, like a couple weekends later, That's like so she kept coming. Right. But we could tell Gerald and I were watching her. Like she is moving up the court. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's another thing is that for some people, it can be just like a few visits here and there. Um, but a lot, that's the reason why we are actually very goal driven here at the office. Part of the, one of the most important parts of my initial consultation with every new patient are, is what are your goals? Of course it's, I know that you're coming into us with aches and pains, some discomfort, this and that, but what is it that you want out of me? Like, what is it that you even want out of life? Are you trying to get back into running? Are you trying to lose some weight, get back into some type of routine? Um, so if it is, you know, just about pain for people, then of course it's just going to be about pain. But the thing is that I know when you and I talked in the beginning, it was so far from, uh, just the shoulder pain. You know, you talk, you talk, you mentioned about just having these higher um, goals for yourself about just functioning, having better energy. Um, so that is, you know, what you've decided for yourself right now to keep coming on a regular basis, whether that be weekly, every other week, um, it's based on what your goals are um, and, and what you want out of life too. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of times people need to really evaluate, uh, within themselves, you know, what it is that their goals are in their life. Mm -hmm. And if what they're doing, um, is actually congruent to those goals and oftentimes they're not. Um, and it, it does go back to how they're functioning overall, even within their health too, because what we see happen all the time is that if they're not happy in their life, um, in you know, some external way is also affecting how they're doing on the inside and vice versa. Um, yeah. if we're in a very stressed out situation and we're not again, very happy what, for whatever reason, it's not going to allow our bodies to properly heal. So that's actually something that you and I talk about a lot is about mm -hmm. mental health and doing things to not let that stress manifest in other ways into the system, because guess what? It's all connected. If you're not doing anything to get it, the, that stress out, it's gonna hit us hard in there. Yeah. But that's what I do love about what you do, right? It's very comprehensive. Like I was talking to someone, uh, about chiropractic care around the time that I posted and they were like, yeah, I just pop into these, um, places where they'll do a quick adjustment. And I'm like, but they didn't like, they don't know you. <laughs> like they didn't take an x-ray. Like, 
I think there's a difference, right? Then, oh, then yeah. I think there's levels to everything. And I'm not saying that just because I come to you that like, that's the very best. I don't know, but I know that there would be a difference between stopping on the side of a road and being like, Hey, you can give me a quick adjustment. I feel that feels like my friend in the, <laughs> feels like my friend in the break room, maybe cracking my back just for yeah. 20 bucks or something. I'm like, I don't know. I, I think that personally for us in this season right now with Reagan, for example, I can only imagine the trauma as she's still growing. Right. And she's playing all these sports and I see her fall all over the place. Dear Lord. Like I see her rumble tumble. She's now, you know, just got onto the volleyball team and she's diving for things and doing things. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, every time I see it, I'm kind of like, and not only that as a parent watching your teenage child, hang their head to look at the cell phone all day. Oh Yes. All of these things, I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, I'm trying to save you before you are <laughs> humpbacked at like 50. Like, like I just want to be, as we started the show with more proactive about just the awareness that there's no way that all of these, ha- and the thing is, I need her to keep coming because I know that the, the habit of looking down at her phone is not going to stop overnight. Like she's a little better about like putting it in a holder now so she can see across instead of just hanging her head. But that that is coming from her awareness after seeing her x-rays and knowing what her head looks like and how heavy, you know, she's aware of these things. So now she can make a more conscious choice. Yeah. But I do see there's no way I could bring her once and think that was going to be the end all be all when she's already in the habit in practice of doing all these other things that mm-hmm. go against that one adjustment. You right. know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. And that's a, the coolest and greatest thing about the human body is that we are really, really resilient. If you think about all the stinking things that we put our bodies through, whether, and, and that's not even just considering, like you said, like the falls, those big traumas, um, you know, even car accidents, things that we put our bodies through over time, but what we refer to as micro traumas are those things that people don't even think um, that really that can hurt them over time. And the number one thing that's really, really um, affecting a lot of my teenage patients and you know, really young adults is modern day technology, specifically the cell phone use that you brought up. So all of those things, absolutely, it affects our system. And again, that's not even considering the stress um, that the last year and a half has has put onto our bodies, Um, but it has a huge, huge effect. Um, And kind of like what we just talked about in the beginning too, it's not um, about having all these aches and pains, but if you can teach, if we can teach our youth um, what it means to be healthy and that it's okay to maybe take us, take a step back and even rest every now and then get good sleep, um, eat healthy, um, and even, you know, get adjusted, whether that be like once a month, a weekly basis, based on what they need, um, all of that will allow them to be healthy and set them up for really great success for the rest of their life. And successful yeah. eating. <laughs> yeah. The, I feel like the earlier, the better, like the sooner oh, you yeah. can have some awareness. So to your point, it's not like, Oh, come every week. Cause you know, a lot of people can't afford to do that. And, and we totally, I totally understand that it's the awareness though. Hmm. You know, yeah. I just feel like it's the, let me go in and do a consultation and just yeah. see what this is about. Like we can start somewhere. And I think I know for, you know, folks my age, no, (laughs) women of a certain age, no, that sometimes just because we're not familiar with something, we prevent ourselves from exploring and just Mm. like, just freaking try, like just see something that can be beneficial because there are so many other benefits. So besides just like, okay, we relieved the pressure in your spine and there's so many other benefits on the backside of chiropractic care. Can you just break down what some of those are? Cause I just, again, I want this series to be all about awareness. Like you don't have to just keep suffering through things. There's a better way. So I'm glad you brought that up too, Patrice, but I, so I'm, I'm going to actually ask you, like, what are some of the things that you've 
you know, notice with your overall health since getting adjusted aside from the shoulder pain going away? Yeah. So aside from the shoulder pain, definitely better sleep, better quality of sleep. I used to be a person that will wake up, um, a couple times a night, maybe twice a night, uh, regularly, mostly because I drink a lot of, lot of water, <laughs> but, um, even though I still drink a lot of water for whatever reason, I pretty much sleep right through the night. Uh, that has been happening more regularly. I definitely digest food better. So I also used to bloat like mm-hmm. pretty easily. Um, after, and I, I've definitely figured out what foods kind of contribute to bloating and, you know, I steer clear of them, but even when I do indulge in certain foods, I don't feel like the bloating. I feel like my digestive system just moves better, just is working better overall. And then I would say just my workouts are better. Like I have more energy and, you know, this is a, for another episode, you know, I've had ups and downs with anemia and all that, but overall, um, better energy when I'm working out, like I can, I can push more, like I can get further on the treadmill and, and, you know, dial up the speed a bit, all of those things. When I first met you at shred 415, shout out to the Coles, uh, shred 415 at Alpharetta. (laughs) So when I first met you, I think, I would walk mostly and like three, three and a half, um, because I think outside of the shoulder pain, my knees probably had some issues I just wasn't aware of. Like I knew, but I didn't know what. Um, so I would do like three to three and a half. Now I'm more regularly like five and a half to six on the treadmill and definitely have just seen better performance. I feel like from my body overall. Well, that is amazing because that is absolutely what chiropractic is about and what those benefits are. So in a very simplistic nutshell, it really is about making sure that you're functioning and functioning optimally. So what I mean by that is that, you know, it's not that, you know, when people are coming into us, they're like on their deathbed or anything like that. It's just maybe their systems are in that fight flight situation. The thing is that, you know, really in the grand scheme of things, all chiropractic is, is finding out where those stressors are within the system and trying to remove that, you know? So by removing those interferences, it's going to allow the body to be not as stressed out so that you can sleep the way that you're supposed to, so that you can digest the way that you're supposed to. Um, and honestly, like if you actually just break it down into that aspect, that's really just what chiropractic is. I think so many people and myself included, um, when we think about the, the human body, we get really, really afraid and overwhelmed. And we think we have to have all this, you know, extra knowledge to know how the body is functioning, um, or not functioning. Um, and the grand scheme of things is just, you know, just clearing out the interferences within that nervous system that controls everything in our body. And then if you are still having some issues, you know, you and I have talked about practicing better habits outside of the office too. So that's, you know, I hate to keep bringing it back up to um, just like the lifestyle too, but that's really what chiropractic is about. It's about making sure that we um, allow that body to function the way it's built, um, the way that it was supposed to be functioning. Um, and then through lifestyle habits, we can optimize that and make our bodies function even better. And true, yeah. I, I want to bring up a point too, is that um, I know I said this in the beginning, but just because something is common doesn't mean it's a good thing. So I'm going to bring up your example too. You know, a lot of people think that sleep issues sleep dysfunction is a normal thing that, you know, they just have to sleep things off or just have to wait or take this and that for it. Um, and honestly, if you can't sleep, sleep is when you're actually healing and regenerating and repairing your body through the exercise and all the stuff that we put our bodies through on a daily basis. So if you're not even sleeping and resting and digesting, then you're not truly functioning. So that's a really big thing that I always ask about people to um, ask people too, is how's their sleep? 
Um, and a lot of times when that, that system is misaligned, when there's dysfunction within that, um, within their spine or their nervous system, it's not going to allow them to fully sleep and calm down, um, the way it's the, the body's supposed to. Oh, I love that you said that and that you brought that up because our next episode is actually with a sleep expert. So I am super excited. Dr. Lisa, this has been so good. Before I let you go, I'm going to ask you what we call rapid wisdom questions here at Redefining Wealth. So you're just going to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Go. How (laughs) How do you define success? Oh, success. You know, I've actually asked myself this over the years and success is truly like being happy with every aspect of your life, like truly being happy. Um, and you know, I think so many people think success needs to be look a certain way. You have to have certain things to be successful, but you know, you can be successful and, you know, have a job. Um, that maybe not be paying as much as, you know, um, others, but still be truly happy. And that is, I think the, the best definition of success to me. How do you define wealth in three words or less? Three words or less wealth. I'm just going to even break it down to one word health. If you don't have health, you don't have wealth. Even if you have, if you, even if you're a millionaire and if you're not healthy, you're not, you you know, you're not actually wealthy. So health is wealth. (laughs) Love it. Okay. What's one book that has helped you redefine wealth for yourself? Ooh, that is a really, really, really good one. There's this book called Mask of Masculinity. Have you heard of that one? So I have actually not fully read the book entirely. Um, Sebastian has, so my husband has, but it talks about how all the masks that we put, um, like basically the front that we put um, every single day unknowingly to protect ourselves. And I truly believe that if you're not vulnerable and if you're not truly being your wholehearted self, you know, you're not going to grow and you're going to stay the way that you're, you are. So in a nutshell, yes, the mask of masculinity by Lewis house. Love it. Okay. Here's the last one. You're going to fill in the blank. My name is, and for me, the truth about wealth is. My name is Dr. Lisa Thronachy and the truth of wealth is health. Love it. Dr. Lisa, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited that we just got to have this conversation and really bring more awareness to the amazing field, I believe, of chiropractic care. So thank you so much. Thank you, Patrice, for having me and giving me this platform to educate people. And I hope everyone can um, just be empowered to live a healthy life. And um, yeah, blessings to everyone. All right. I hope that you learned a lot during this episode. I know for many of you, this may have been one of your first introductions to chiropractic anything. I know that oftentimes we only think about it when we get in a car accident or if we have some extreme, you know, situation that leads us there. But it's been now over two years, I believe, that I've been working with Dr. Lisa, my whole family has, and it has truly been a game changer. So wherever you are, if you're not here locally in Atlanta, I really do suggest just check it out. Just look into it, whatever you can do to get in alignment, because your physical health is directly connected to your ability and capacity to create the financial wealth that you desire. And don't neglect that. Don't overlook it. You can't say you didn't know or that you don't know because you learned it here on Redefining Wealth. So again, if you're in the Atlanta area, definitely check out Dr. Lisa. She's in the Sandy Springs area and wherever you are in the country, in the world, just look into it as an additional resource that can be a blessing to you. So again, I really hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned because next week, 
I have the man, the myth, the legend. No, he's actually my friend now. Sean Stevenson, best-selling author and the number one, I think, health and wellness podcast, period. He is the host of the Model Health Show. He'll be next. He'll be here next week talking about his two books, Eat Smarter and Sleep Smarter. I really want you to focus on this fit pillar right now. Summertime is coming. Listen, we need to get in alignment with our bodies and just do the right thing all year round. But I'm excited about these conversations just in time for the summer. So make sure that you come back, rate and review the podcast, leave a comment, connect with us, connect with Dr. Lisa um, and just, you know, keep making this place your home. I really do hope and pray that the Redefining Wealth podcast is a big blessing in your life and that it just continues to expose you to new thoughts, new ideas, uh, new perspectives, new ways of looking at things. Until next week, I just want you to go live your life's purpose, find fulfillment, and earn more without ever chasing money. Talk to you later.